subtle results. Still you, but with fewer lines. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A, is a prescription medicine used to temporarily make moderate to severe frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead lines look better in adults. Effects of Botox Cosmetic may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulties swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness may be a sign of a life-threatening condition. Patients with these conditions before injection are at highest risk. Don't receive Botox Cosmetic if you have a skin infection. Side effects may include allergic reactions, injection site pain, headache, eyebrow and eyelid drooping, and eyelid swelling. Allergic reactions can include rash, welts, asthma symptoms, and dizziness. Tell your doctor about medical history, muscle or nerve conditions including ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, myasthenia gravis, or Lambert-Eden syndrome and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. For full safety information, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. See for yourself at BotoxCosmetic.com. Diwali, the Festival of Lights, is a vibrant and colorful celebration that marks the victory of light over darkness and good over evil. We invite you to celebrate Diwali with a drive through two and a half miles of sparkling lights at the Bull Run Festival of Lights in Centerville, Virginia. The Bull Run Festival of Lights is open November 10th through January 7th. Save time and money by purchasing a ticket online at bullrunfestivaloflights.com. That's bullrunfestivaloflights.com. Okay, the name of the podcast is Fat Mascara. Obviously, we, the hosts, get asked all the time about false eyelashes, how to apply them, what's the trick. I mean, they are hard, but you know what I'm doing from now on, Jess? I'm just going to point the people to impress press on falsies. They're so much easier. You don't even need to learn tricks and steps. They're so easy. Forget tricks. You don't even need glue, Jen. No glue is needed thanks to Impress's innovative breakthrough pre bonded technology. You just pop the little lash clusters underneath your natural natural lashes in one easy step. Just press them, press them, press them, and then go. Each starter kit includes a nonstick applicator tool and 20 clusters in both medium and long lengths. And there's different styles, natural, voluminous, spiky. Get one that's right for you. Get yours today at impressfalsies.com slash fat mascara and use the code fat mascara to receive 25% off all impress falsies press on products. That's impress falsies.com slash fat mascara and make sure to use the code fat mascara at checkout now everyone can lash hello everyone welcome to fat mascara i'm jen sullivan just matlin is just back from vacation and we are actually recording this afternoon so we will have all new episodes for you starting on friday but today i have such a fun interview to bring back for you it is cindy barshop who is obviously a real housewives alum which you know just loved but also the founder of v spot a medi spa focused on sexual health and wellness which now has two locations in new york city and she has been through so much since we originally chatted this was from 2019 march 2019 we aired this episode. In 2022, she was diagnosed with primary central nervous system lymphoma. That's CNS lymphoma. It's an extremely rare form of cancer that affects lymph tissue of the brain and or spinal cord. But since then, she's undergone chemotherapy and other treatments. She is cancer-free, but monitoring her health very closely. And she talked actually just last month, I saw this, which is why I wanted to bring the interview back up. She talked in People Magazine about the effects of that brain cancer and what it did to her. And so we've been thinking about her and how much she's done for women's health. And I wanted to rerun this super fun interview with her as well, because also it's just really fun. One of our most fun chats. I can't believe this didn't even come up when we were talking about 500th episode, like best of moments. Like when Cindy tells Jess to drop her pants, how could I have forgotten that? There's a lot of other fun stuff too. But more importantly, you're going to learn a lot about women's health, including sexual health issues that are facing women. Something Cindy says she knows more about now because a lot of these issues like early menopause, vaginal dryness, loss of desire, affect women who undergo chemo and other cancer treatments. So maybe past this interview along to anyone you know who might be going through some of those things. It could be helpful. We hope you learn a little something and we know you're going to enjoy it along the way. Here it is.
We are here with Cindy Barshop. She's the founder of V-Spot Medispa, which is kind of like a one-stop shop for things that enhance sexual pleasure, rejuvenate the vagina and vulva. Okay. Um, oh. Yes, that's you. You know the word. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we're going to be saying the V word a lot on this episode. She's also made a career out of below-the-belt grooming because you founded Completely Bare Salons, the Completely Bare products that are in, like, every mass retailer for hair removal. Um, you are a real housewife of New York. Yes. What aren't you, Cindy Barsha? <laughs> Welcome to Fat Mass Married. married. <laughs> in the house. Only thing she isn't is married. She oh, <laughs> oh, my God. You're so funny. I love Cindy so much. Oh, I love you. Oh, my I'm God. I'm so happy to be here. Cindy, you're, like, one of the first people I met in beauty, and you really, like, changed the game in beauty. In uh, everything below the belt. Everything below the belt. I mean— Completely Bare was one of the first places that I was sent as a young budding beauty editor. It was like, this is the place to go for That's... all things waxing. I remember ascending your spa. It was on Fifth Avenue. Uh huh. And it was, I got there and it was like heaven. Like the doors opened. It was all white. There was like white shag carpeting. There was a <laughs> It was bowl. like exactly like P. Diddy's apartment. It was. It was P. Diddy's apartment. It was like <laughs> so glossy. I mean, I felt like, hello, when I got there. <laughs> like anyone here, there was like a cool receptionist. There was a bowl of like M&Ms. Everything was uh-huh. so branded. <laughs> wow. I just felt like I have officially arrived in New York. How did you become... And then, oh, and then, like, yeah, I got waxed in, like, a nice clean place, and I never wanted to, like, go down from there, you know? How did you become this, like, doyen of waxing and, you know, feminine care? Hmm. That's a good question. Actually, you know, I started off in technology business, and there was a technology. This is so not glamorous. But... Yeah, I was like, wait, wow. Wait, <laughs> yeah. That's I know. a turn. How do we, we take a turn like, from there, from IBM to Now, yeah, exactly, like IT to like <laughs> Exactly. Diddy. That's exactly what it was. And there was um, a new technology, which is obviously a long time ago, for the laser hair removal. And I was... Everything I do is like one of my problems that I try to fix. So I had ingrown hairs, anybody who has coarse hair, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So I went, I tried it, and like a crazy person, I went out and bought a machine and opened a place on uh, Madison Avenue. It was my first one. And then people wanted to get waxing also. So I did laser and waxing, and then we started to have fun, as you know, with all the different things we put down uh, there to kind of glorify it and make people feel good about themselves. So are you referring to the vajazzling? The vajazzling. Okay. Are you are you are you to blame or are you to responsible for the vajazzling trend? Yes. Like a decade yes. ago, that it was, was a decade. Well, it's kind of crazy because like now you guys are going to hear it because more it's, than a decade it's ago. coming back. We're do, doing is something. it really? Do you do it? Uh, well. Okay, here we are launching it here. That's why we have this podcast. We're launching it here. So, um, yeah, we're doing uh, Mickey Mouse because it's like beauty and fashion, as you guys both know, are hand in hand. Yeah. And in 2019's uh, spring runway was Gucci, was Mickey Mouse, and we're like in the trend with it. So we have tattoos that are coming out with crystals. For is this Mi- for your like Mons pubis? What is vajazzling for anybody that doesn't know? So the updated ver- version is going to be called Vajul. And Jewel. it's a tat that actually stays for about a week and it has jewels on it. But you have to have no pubic hair to do this, I guess. Well, we could also do it like just to make it super sexy if you have some pubic hair wherever there's like not. Like on your bikini line. Right. Okay. okay. It's fun. <laughs> is this something we would do in the summer or is this like all year long? This is just like for you. You could do it for yourself just to feel good, like a new pair of lingerie. Uh-huh. Or you could do it for a guy. Or you could do it, you know, for a bikini. So... Is that a trend? Like, what is the trend right now? Because I keep hearing that pubic hair, you know, things come and go. We're doing the landing strip, then we're doing right. none of it, all of it. I believe the hair is coming back. I think it's becoming sexy again. I remember, so I was at Costco Sorry, for, everybody. No, 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 no. I have hair there. I mean. So I remember this conversation at Cosmo that, I mean, working at Cosmo, there were so many kind of crazy conversations. Mm-hmm. But one that will always stick in my mind were... <laughs> You know, most of the staff at Cosmo is relatively young, you know. As it but still there, is. Yeah. <laughs> but there were, you know, girls in their early 20s and then, like, women in their mid-30s and then, like, you know, women in their 40s. And 
this just like small section of women had such very different ideas about what was, you know, in fashion, what was acceptable mm-hmm. about, you know, down there. The super young girl, super young girls, like their early 20s were like, I get everything off. Right. And then the 30s were like, I leave a little. And the girls in their 20s were like shrieking with horror that right. like, why wouldn't you just get the whole thing off? They were absolutely like, like disgusted by this and then the women in their 40s were like i just have like you know i just get like i just kind of keep it clean making sure that they weren't you know yeah. completely overgrown so what's what are your from your experience what what did you see i saw does that you know that there was there was really eyes? there was really a trend of everybody being completely bare there i mean mm-hmm. i hate to say it that's like you know well that's why you named the place completely, completely bare. bare yeah and um it became like a service itself at you know, even like Bliss and places like that, they had like a completely bare wax. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, it really was a, a trend. And I, in my mind at the time, I believe that there's no way that hair is going to be sexy down there. And now that I'm older, <laughs> you need I wish I had a little hair down there. <laughs> I've heard that from other women. Like after yeah. they have kids and stuff, they're the ones that got it lasered off. Mm-hmm. They I wish they didn't get it all lasered off. I wish I didn't get it all lasered I've off. I've heard that too because mm-hmm. I've heard that things change down there. Things do change down Does there. Does gravity that's like, also happen down there? Everything. Yes, that's what I heard. Everything ages down there. Everything that everything falls. Everything it falls. falls. Yeah. So we plump it up. We can oh. plump it like we plump our faces now. We can, yeah, keep we, going. Yeah. So, no. So, so we should talk going. about V spot. Yeah. Then. Sure. Is that what you're referring yeah. to? Tell us what V spot is. Okay, V spot's a women's uh, intimate or in sexual health spa. We do all the different treatments for the changes that women go through from. Uh, menstruation, like pain, Mm -hmm. to menopause. So these are natural changes after you give birth that you go through um, that women have, and they don't know that they have options to correct, and they're suffering in silence. Like I'm really about, you know, empowering women to feel good about themselves. I mean, we have people leave and cry. I mean, could you imagine like urinary incontinence, which is urinary leakage? Mm -hmm. Nobody even knows the words incontinence, which I didn't in the beginning either. And Think about how it affects your everyday life. Oh, God, yeah. When, you know, you laugh, you pay. If you do exercises, you pay. And every pretty much three out of four women at some point of li- their life have it, especially after you give birth. Mm-hmm. And the only option out there in the past was uh, that sling thing, surgery. So now there's real ways for simple treatments, painless treatments, that you don't have to do this. So, so what is – let's take it treatment by treatment, treatment shall we? So like you mentioned incontinence. Mm-hmm. So what does one do at V-Spot to help with that? Um, one of the big treatments we have is what we call a Kegel throne. So you sit on this chair and it does 11,000 Kegels in 28 minutes for you. Okay. Okay. So How? Is there okay, a thing yeah, inside yeah, your yeah, vagina? Called, <laughs> no. Nothing goes in the vagina. Let me okay. explain. So it's called high fem technology, which is high, you know high frequency mm-hmm. technology. So on the pelvic floor, there's 10 muscles. And – you know, for 70 years now, they're saying, okay, if the doctor says Kegel, well, nobody knows how to Kegel. I mean, there's Kegel classes, Kegel books, Kegel, like every other story is a Kegel story. Mm-hmm. Well, the reason why there's so many stories and people just don't do Kegels or they can't, because you can't do it correctly. Can you, so, can you tell the audience what a Kegel is? Can we sure. Just it's supposed to Kegel? strengthen the pelvic floor and muscle. It's, little, it's an it's exercise. exercise. It's like what you do to stop the flow of urine, kind of? or squeeze, Yes. Well, right. there's two reasons why people do Kegels or the doctor says to do it is after you give birth to tighten it again so you feel, you know, penetration for yourself and also for the urinary uh, leakage. So that's why that whole world Kegel was there. So you're sitting on this chair. So you sit on this chair and it's like, it's little like shock waves. There's different settings depending upon how old you are. Are there like sensors hooked up to? Mm-mm. You how just sit that? on it. Really? You have to, we have to go. The you have to come in. No, no, it doesn't hurt at all. Literally, you feel like you worked out afterwards. That's what it is. Mm. It's so weird that it can isolate those muscles, though, without touching your skin. So, yeah, but it's strong. It's okay. strong. It's a very, like, it's over $100,000, the, the machine itself. Okay. So it's, like, very high technology. You're clothed. Okay. I tell people not to wear jeans, like thick jeans. But you sit on this chair, and it exercises the muscles, and it actually, like, builds the muscle, but it also helps with your butt. It goes up. I'm not kidding. It, like, I have before. And, like, okay. It's FDA approved for the urinary leakage. They don't call it the Kegel throne. What's like the scientific name for this thing? Emsula. Okay. E-M-S. Interesting. Emsula. Yeah. Okay. So that's one thing. That's one. 
The other, um, what else do they do at V-Spot? We do things for after moms give birth. Okay. Like, so what's this femi, femi lift or femi lift? It's a fractional CO2 laser. <laughs> wow. That means a lot. What is anyway, that? is this a, a cosmetic thing? No, no. I'm 95% of the stuff that we do is not cosmetic. There's a f- couple of cosmetic, but we'll go into that okay, in a we'll minute. Okay, we'll save that for later. Yeah, so um, the Femilift, it actually tightens the vaginal canal, and it does a tissue regeneration. Mm-hmm. So after you give birth, it stretches out. Mm-hmm. Well, half the women, it doesn't really pop back like they tell us. Oh, yeah, it just pops back. <laughs> you, put a, you put an eight-pound baby through your vagina, <laughs> and it pops back. Oh, my God. So it doesn't really pop back. I mean, for some people... Maybe it does. So that's um, so we do a tissue regeneration because of the stretched tissue. So we actually, um, it's a wand that goes inside the canal. You don't feel it, which is amazing because we have all these like inside. We don't have pain receptors, which right. makes sense why you could have a baby. I mean, right. even and also when painful. you get a gynecological exam, like it's annoying going in, but then once they're in there, you're like, what's exactly. going on? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it's a laser that goes inside. Inside. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you need three treatments and you feel a huge difference right and afterwards. And who's doing this stuff? At the V-Spot, we only have um, like the top women gynecologists. Okay. Preach. Because yeah. I get very Preach. nervous when I hear a lot of like, you know, mm-hmm. like vaginal, you know, spa rejuvenation things. And I'm like, who, who, who's in there? You know what I mean? I agree with you because they're like popping up. Like at, yeah, the der- at your that. derm's office. Yeah. And it's like, really? <laughs> so anybody with a medical degree could operate these devices, mm-hmm. but you chose to I partner chose with it, gynecologists. Well, like my gynecologist is like world renowned. I actually go with her all over the world. She goes more because I can't. But like we just got back from Dubai and we train like doctors how to do these treatments. They're not difficult, but like at the V-Spot, we did so many of them that we have little techniques that work a yeah. little bit better. That's I'm glad to hear that there's doctors on staff. What about this O shot? What's the, the O shot? O shot. It's platelet rich plasma that's injected into the clitoris and the G spot. That's and yes, sounds... everybody has the G spot, just so you know. There is, is a G spot. That sounds you won't I don't want feel it at all. Injected into my clitoris. So you take out but someone's you blood. And... So yeah, it's Tell super us. healthy for you, too. So you take out the blood from the arm. Okay. And okay, so PRP has been used for years and years for so many different things to grow hair, to um, help with any cartilage damage, muscle damage. So all it is is blood that has the stem cells and the healthy blood in it. So for instance, my own blood. It's your own blood. Mm -hmm. When you're a kid and you fall, and you see the scrape on the knee, and you remember, like, it's like this gooey yellow stuff. That's PRP, really. It, I, you always thought that it was like pus. Yeah, yeah. Totally. A lot of times it's not pus. That's super healthy blood. So you like when you're young, you just make it. Yeah. To, mm-hmm. And it does the healing process. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen that stuff in a while. <laughs> I know. You? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so it was everywhere when I was younger. <laughs> I was a big goop. <laughs> Oops. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah. So anyway, so you take out my blood. You, you take out the it blood. Around. It's put into a centrifuge. And it splits up the super healthy and the regular blood. You're completely numb. You won't feel a thing. Okay. And it's injected into the clitoris but, and the. But then does your clitoris like grow because it's stem cells? <laughs> no. Or like, no, it's but just I'm like holding my cross. I'm 20 are. years old. Yeah. So the G spot pushes it out a little bit. Okay. Oh, so you inject it, it in there too. It does. Okay. So it pushes it out a little bit, like a little bit more of a bump. So while you're having intercourse, sometimes you can okay, have vaginal. Okay, so it makes that more stimulating. Mm-hmm. And, and then it makes the uh, clitoris much more sensitive. How much is this? Uh, twenty five hundred, <laughs> but you only have to come once for that treatment. It's once, and it can Didn't last sh- like up to five years. Okay, the O shot, interesting. Mm-hmm. So, are we missing? Are those? That's pretty much the medical so, treatment. Well, no, there's more. But one of the things you have, well, what, you have what to understand, have? though, with the with the, <laughs> let me just tell, I'm going to tell you. But one of the things is really important is that there's statistics to show that how many women from the last time they you know they were in a relationship or with a man they don't orgasm we don't orgasm like men or with a woman right or with a woman and or even self stimulation it's very difficult to orgasm it's different if i always say if men orgasm like women it would be like a 711 would be selling selling o shots you know <laughs> the prices would be down to nothing and you know it just so this if you think about this and then we have women who've never orgasmed before and like I had a woman. How do you find that out? Well, the doctor. Because I feel like people don't even know if they have. You know what I mean? Like, how do you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like this comes up a lot whenever. Like, like how did I or like some people don't realize they that don't they never realize had a that vaginal they orgasm yeah. either. Yeah. Right? I had somebody the other day. She's like, what? There's a vaginal how orgasm? How old was she? Um, probably the 30, I think. 
around 30. But then there's, I have, I also, we also had a woman who's never orgasmed and she was married. Mm. And, and did she know she hadn't? Yeah, she, she knew. Okay, so she, she came in and got what? We what did, happened? so some, you know, sometimes you have to do multiple different types of treatments. She did a femi lift and an O shot together works really well. For that, and it's mm-hmm. we don't guarantee if you've never orgasmed in your life. And then there's sometimes, you know, we're really helping women think about like somebody who's never orgasmed or it was so difficult. To you don't see us complaining about these services. And there's a whole other thing which I never knew about is sometimes, you know, the hood is just they have to just lift the hood. Sometimes the doctor says, "No, go back, mm-hmm. just lift the hood by the clitoris, and you know you'll be able to orgasm." So someone could come in and could have an appointment with one of your gynecologists and doesn't even know what's going on down there. It's not like they're coming in asking for the service. They just get like an under the hood checkup and they say, "Here's my issue," and then you recommend well, they, what, right. what help. But okay, they usually good. come. We we don't do regular um, gyno exams. Right, that we don't do. We just stick with that. So if they have, you're coming any, for an issue with you're sexual coming for health, an, like, right. Well, it's not, not even health. an issue. It's yeah. just like to make yourself listen. I spent twenty five hundred dollars to go to. I don't know. I mean, let's not be there. I like to go shopping sometimes. You spend twenty five hundred mm-hmm. on a coat. I mean, it's a lot. I agree. A or going on a vacation. Yeah. Right. A vacation. So if this is going to make you feel so good and it's super healthy to orgasm, does it last though? Say you get one of these treatments, are you now like an orgasmer for life? Mm-hmm. Well, everything kind of like ages with you, but yeah. I mean, it's been known that it lasted up to seven years. Sometimes, you know, it's five. The whole thing is, is like, so I did it more than once already because what happens is you do it and you're like, oh, wow. And then your new standard is much higher. <laughs> so you yeah, how often do you have to get this O shot? Really, it's probably once every two years. Mm. That's like probably the average, but everybody's different. And is the O shot proprietary to your like your spa, or is this something that you know doctors have been doing, and but we just don't know about it as so, enough yeah. because we don't talk about this in our culture that much. So that's the problem because we don't talk about it. That's why I'm so thrilled to be here. And like <laughs> when I listen to you, you always learn things from your guys' podcast. Oh, yeah. So um, yeah, we just don't talk about it. This has been around for seven years, and it was founded by Dr. Ronalds. Mm-hmm. Does he call it like PRP? You came he up called, with the name. No, no, I don't. He, t- I pay him to use the word OSHA. It's his. Okay, got it. Mm. Got it. These are amazing treatments that I feel like more people should know about. I, it's, it's, it's really upsetting that people don't know that. everyone. Can we talk about Alamoves? Listen, they want me to tell you that I use their streaming on-demand platform to stay on top of my health and wellness journey. But let's be honest, right now, Alamoves is basically my only health and wellness journey. It's a streaming on-demand wellness platform that features yoga practice, fitness routines, meditation sessions, so much more. But can I tell you about my new discovery? The Aloe in the Wild series. So right now I'm doing the yoga in Utah. The videos are so good. I get my usual yoga practice, no equipment necessary, in front of my TV where I'm at home, everything's safe with the teachers I like. But the best part is they're teaching in front of the backdrop of Bryce Canyon. I feel like I'm on a hike while I'm doing my yoga. And side note, how do you get this job? I'm not a yoga instructor and I know Tawny Jane is a very good instructor, but she gets to do yoga in the great outdoors. I mean... Anyway, if yoga in the great outdoors doesn't sound like your thing, don't worry. They have so many other classes from beginner to advanced. They have bar, Pilates, cardio, meditation, sound baths, gua sha, dry brushing. You've heard us talk about dry brushing. You want to figure out how to do it? Download Aloe Moves and you could do it in your own home. There's so much flexibility and variety and they have tons of fresh new content every month. More than 100 new classes are added. Find the health and wellness routine that works for you with Aloe Moves. Go to alomoves.com. That's A L O moves.com and use the code mascara20 in all caps for 30 days free plus 20% off an annual membership. That's alomoves.com, alomoves.com. And the code is mascara20 in all caps to get a free 30 day trial plus 20% off an annual membership. Alomoves.com.
Okay, most of you have probably heard us sing the praises of Pros and their truly custom made to order hair care. Honestly, switching to a customer routine from Pros is one of those beauty revelations in life where you're like, why didn't I do this sooner? The results are great. And then if they're ever not great, you just adjust your formula because hair changes. We change. Our products should change. I think when I first started talking to everyone about Pros, I had a formula for dryness, but lately my scalp has been kind of sensitive and itchy. So I just updated my consultation got my new shampoo and conditioner, and it has a prebiotic ingredient to help my scalp microbiome. And I think it's really made a difference. I also love, and you know Jess loves this too, that you can update your scent preferences every time you order. So I used to have Botanica, which is their herbal scent, but the shampoo and conditioner I have for winter is the scent Arcadia. It's like a woodsy citrus blend. I just felt like that would be very right for winter. That's my mood right now. Anyway, if you've been struggling to find hair care that suits all your specific needs, Pros is for you. When you take their quiz, They're able to assess about 85 personal factors about you and then select the sustainably sourced ingredients that get you closer to your hair goals with every wash. Custom made-to-order hair care from Pros has your name all over it. Take your free in-depth hair consultation and get 50% off your first subscription today, then 15% off and free shipping for every subscription order after that. Go to pros.com slash mascara. That's pros, P-R-O-S-E dot com slash mascara for your free in-depth hair consultation, 50% off your first subscription order, and then 15% off in free shipping after that. Pros.com slash mascara. Okay, everyone, I have a big announcement. Honey Love is offering 50% off of everything site-wide this month. And why? I mean, have you gotten dressed lately? Everything is tight. Everything is slim. We're talking about a slim turtleneck. We're talking about a bias cut skirt, a little like clingy sweater. This is what's going on right now in fashion. Jen, what are you wearing under this stuff? Well, it's holiday season. Of course, that's the kind of clothes you'll be wearing. But that's why we have Honey Love, the most comfortable shapewear on the market. And their bras look so good under a turtleneck or a t-shirt. The V-neck bra smooth fit, let me tell you. None of that back bulge. Then let's say you're doing a little holiday Thanksgiving slim skirt. Their superpower short is the go-to. It has targeted compression technology. It kind of distinguishes between areas where you want more support and areas where you need less. You know what I mean? Like certain places bulge, certain are concave, convex. It just smooths with your natural body. Okay. That's right. I threw convex on you this time. You like that? (laughs) Seventh grade geometry, yes. I'm just obsessed with Honey Love because their shaper is comfy. And at the end of the night, okay, you just ate Thanksgiving dinner or it's a big family thing. You don't have to struggle out of it. It just slides right off because it's Honey Love. So treat yourself to the best bras and shaper on the market and save up to 50%. That's right, 5-0. 50% off site-wide at honeylove.com slash mascara this month only. Inventory is limited and the sale ends soon, so do not miss their best deals of the year. After you purchase, they're going to ask you where you heard about them. Please show some support of our show and tell them that we, Fat Mascara, sent you. It is time to ditch the underwire for good thanks to Honey Love. Can we talk, though, just uh, briefly, I'm sure you get this about you're just feeding the patriarchy and like Mm -hmm. and like women go in like I need to be tighter for my husband or my boyfriend (laughs) or whatever, like people that are are in heterosexual relationships that like have Mm -hmm. that issue Mm -hmm. with you. You tell them what you just told us that like that this is empowering. Well, I think we've had maybe one percent. The people that come in to the V spot, they're so like they're like at a they've researched. They're they're comfortable with their bodies. And we're just trying to get the average person comfortable with themselves to come in. It's usually, you know, successful women that they work out, they take care of themselves, mm-hmm. and they enjoy feeling good. So ninety nine percent of the time I never hear that oh I'm doing this for my boyfriend. I love so that the happen. women that come into you, like they're progressive enough, they're mm-hmm. confident enough to be like, okay, like let's do this. Yeah. It's the broader mentality that like Right. So I'm gonna do it for my husband. Yeah, that's I mean that's pretty sad. And you know what? I mean there have been a few times that, you know, the doctor would refuse to do a treatment. Because like 
Because of psychological she could tell issues. Yeah. yeah. What a, and you mentioned that there was cosmetic treatments as well, though it's not mm-hmm. your priority. It's where you got your start, though. Well, so let me tell hey, you what about else? the cosmetic. Please I have to do. say I was the worst. I am I am guilty, like the general population is guilty. So there was a new treatment that came out was mm-hmm. um vaginal lightning with a laser. Okay. okay. Like color lightning, like yeah. your skin tone? Uh-huh. Okay. And I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, we're not doing it there. Absolutely not. We're about empowering women, you know. I can't even believe I'm saying this. So I'm so disappointed in myself. I'm so disappointed that I was like, they want to look like porn stars. No, that's mm-hmm. not what that's not our client. You know, it's about, well, you know, shame on me because these it's really, first of all, the darkness is usually really on the sides and they could see it in the bikini. It affects their how they feel about themselves. Who the hell am I to judge? Mm-hmm. You know, as we, as we get older, just the rubbing or just from the waxing, you have dark spots. It's people oh, like dark hyperpigmentation. Spots. Yeah, it's all hyperpigmentation. That is 99% of the people that come in for okay. that. I so mean, they come into your place now for it? Uh-huh. It's yeah. a laser treatment? So it's so what happened was, just because I was in the beauty business for so long, mm-hmm. you could figure it out. Um, you have to do a pre laser treatment to do laser because, you know, with hyperpigmentation, you have to be really careful. And we basically put together this peel and then an at-home formula that I get 90% of the people don't come back for the laser. Because it Cause, brightens cause and it, lightens. Yeah, because it evens out the skin tone. I never, I mean, I Wait, so is this something you do now? Yeah. Okay. And we do anal also. I, anal I'm so too. glad you said it because I, I was about to ask about I it. I was about <laughs> to ask, okay, I put this... I put something on my Instagram I'm like, what's your number one beauty question? Like, we're going to answer it. And somebody wrote to me about anal bleaching. Anal bleaching. Do you do it with bleach? Like, hi- like a hydro. So we use, yeah, we use an almond um, extract with, it's like a miso peel. I'm allergic to almonds. This doesn't sound like something for me. We're well, not putting a, almonds in your butt. Don't we're worry. Not an almond. It's an extract. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, and we have done, there's a bunch of people that are allergic to almonds, but we, we do a test on them first. Okay, that's okay. good. Um, a patch test. A patch test, yes. <laughs> and yes, the, um, the reason why it works so well is hydroquinone. We have hydroquinone pads and they work great. Do you do it to yourself or does a technician do it The to technician you? does it. And then she does a peel to break up the melanin, the darkness. Where is this woman and when is she coming on our podcast? <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> what's her Tina? name? Sure. We used to work together at Completely Bare. So what's the... What's the deal with anal bleaching anyway? Like, what, what, why is this a thing? I thought this was just, like, for porn stars. You know what? This is a little personal, but I'll go there. Just do it. I mean, I know my you already my here. new boyfriend. <laughs> my new, well, he's going to be my husband, but Aww. he wants, you know, I just, you know, I want to be comfortable. Like, he's, he's, like, really into that. And I was like, I haven't done it yet. I was like, oh, when we get married. But that's, but that's okay. But there's some people that do it all the time. And, you know, anal I bleaching would, or anal sex? Anal sex. Oh, oh. And so then so it just looks like, nicer yeah, when they're doing so it. Much nicer. All right. All right. But yeah, like, the same ha- thing is like, you don't want a hairball there. I can do it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't like a, when a guy is. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. But I mean, like, if it feels good for both parties, like, I kind of like, well, who cares what it looks like? But if it lets the woman then, I guess, be more like, I, I'm more confident if I get a wax there, even if I'm not having it, just yeah. because, you know, right, right. movements, changes with your legs and the air. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm just more comfortable okay, with Okay, so it. cosmetic treatments all I around. I guess I never really, like, all right, yeah, I'll just, I'll be quiet now. No, go with it. I just, like, never really think about. Because we don't see it. Yeah. Unless you're in front of a mirror. Like, when are you ever yeah, going to know I've what it looks like, like back there? I've never really, I've always thought, like, oh, now this isn't, not, oh, I've never always thought, because I've never really thought about it that much until now. Like, is this a new spot I need to be paranoid about? Well, that would be like the negative spin on it, yeah. right? Maybe the positive spin is just like... If it bothers you and you fix it, it makes you feel better, then yeah, what? you don't have to worry about it. Just like, you know, I mean, some people don't worry about, you know, if they have um, hyperpigmentation on their face. I used to get it on the yeah. side of my cheek. It didn't bother me. But apparently and I would problem. have somebody come in and say, can you get the hyperpigmentation off my shoulder because it bothers them. Right. So that's right. the whole thing. Yeah. we got to stop judging everybody. If it makes them feel good and they're yeah. doing it for themselves. I like that you came around and you were doing the judging by saying no. I did. But in I fact... Did. That's, and I look back. Here's that's another a, takes one. Takes a big woman to say here's, that. Here's another one. You know the whole thing with vaginoplasty. Okay, so yeah. the truth is that a lot of women. There's a, lots of reasons why they do it, but a lot of times it's painful. Sometimes the labia minora is hanging down, mm-hmm. and it's painful when you do um, when you ride a bike, things like that. And you want to know something? If one ear, I mean, I am so open about it, and I wasn't like that before. Mm-hmm. If one ear was hanging lower than the other, mm-hmm. does it bother you? Yeah, if they if they did an ear plasty or whatever, it's, yeah. you're okay with it. But what if it's, it's your vagina and they're saying, no, you can't do that? Why? 
Of course. So you yeah. do plastic surgery, labioplasty and things? Um, the doctor does. We don't do it at our place. But I see. like so for and a lot of times you don't have to do plastic surgery. A lot and it's not even real plastic surgery. What do you it's do? like so it's so quick. Some of the stuff is just like a little clip and it sounds like, oh my God, I know. But it's like a, a fifteen minute treatment or to pull up the hood mm-hmm. is like just so you have better sex mm-hmm. is I mean, we've seen I mean but we're not saying women need these things. And no, everybody looks absolutely. Different. It's just like, if it bothers you, if it why bothers would... you, why wouldn't you? Or do it's it? uncomfortable for medical reasons. I'm sure. Right, too. and that's the whole thing. Sometimes so you... we could plump up the area yeah. over mm-hmm. there just to cover it, and then they feel happier like that. And it also you increases... plump up the outer vulva so it covers the, uh, the labia majora, so the menorah doesn't show as much. As much if they if they like that too, and that increases sensitivity also. So when I like, for example, like when I got. I got a breast reduction a long time ago. I brought in a picture of boobs that I thought were nice. <gasps> Do people bring in a picture of no? no? Never. It's never happened. because I feel like they all look so I don't. Different. Yeah, I feel like the vaginas I've seen. Yeah, they're all over the map. Yeah. yeah. So if I had wanted to do something different to my vagina. I, I I would want a, a nice example. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who's, got, like, who's the, got the perfect vagina? Like vagina, vagina content. Gina's all these lips. Yeah, like I just like, don't know what to compare. I'm sure it probably to. people would look at porn porn movies and things but like are those film real vagina? I don't know. No, I they guess. probably have had surgery. A lot of them, right? Well, there's different types of surgery. Yeah. You know, the what, the stuff I'm talking about is oh, not God. like. Invasive. A, invasive. It's more a light cosmetic. Yeah. Is there are there other cosmetic? Do you do like hair removal and stuff still now? Um, we just do basically a. We have a new twenty four karat gold wax that um, mm. because it helps with because I know about all the stuff now is yeah. that it helps with the inflammation mm-hmm. when you put uh, gold in there. Yeah. So when the skin gets inflammated. Inflamed. 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 Yeah. Inflamed. Yeah. Inflamed. <laughs> like, like, what, what did I just say? I like it. Let's coin it. Inflamated. <laughs> Inflamated. Okay. Mm-hmm. When the inflamed, no. So when it gets inflamed and after a wax, a lot of people get dark spots because of the friction there yeah. and mm-hmm. it getting Post-inflammatory inflamed. Inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Right. So with the we just do a more advanced type of, you know, mm-hmm. wax. And then afterwards we put blue lights there for ingrown hairs and red lights for the blood flow. So it's just it's, a little bit more high tech than we're used to. So someone would be less likely to have an ingrown or oh yeah, absolutely. Since we have you here, I feel like listeners are going to want us to ask these questions just about hair removal. Uh-huh. Like honestly, I've asked a million experts this. Say you're still getting waxed or mm-hmm. shaving, and you get an ingrown hair. What is the Cindy Barshop method? Use How glycolic do I deal with it? and salicylic acid, and it'll go away. So glycolic exfoliates, uh-huh. and the salicylic cleans the bacteria. Like a, like so a pad that has both of those acids mm-hmm. in it. Yeah, or you can do it yourself. Um, I think we do. <laughs> a completely <laughs> bare cell is kind of product. I, yeah, we remember ten skin. Everybody was using ten skin. That yeah, nens. which is like a witch hazel, I think. So oh, not yeah, active I enough that for you. Product. Yeah, no. But you could get so um, glycolic. You could get Just anywhere. Get some, like Peter glycolic. Thomas Roth glycolic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could absolutely do that. And the salicylic is really every pimple medicine has it. Yeah. So I mean, you probably could have it in your closet ready, so you could take it yourself. Are you allowed to take out the hair with your own tweezers? Ugh. What? You know it. You know oh, it. Oh, excuse me. I, <laughs> or do you just, I was, used to be addicted to that. Right, I like was you like, can see God. it in there like, sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, would. I've gotten I lasers, did. so I don't Ugh. I did. Really? I've got, no, I don't What like are you, that. like, perfect? Yeah, they take down your pants, please. <laughs> <laughs> you have no ingrown hair. I don't, I don't have any ingrown hair. You're hairs. so lucky. Wait, you uh, asked that. Now we have to ask about Real Housewives. If she's okay, telling you okay. to take her pants down. Housewives, <laughs> housewives. Okay, yes, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, I love the housewives. New York's my favorite. Um, tell me something crazy that happened. That's not Tell a very targeted something. question, is it? No, not really. like I, every Andy, time and, I was with and, them, Andy, I was in shock. Okay, like, is, <laughs> is it fake? No, it's not fake. So yeah. I'll, I'll tell you something crazy. Yeah. Okay, because I so, really, I always feel like, oh my god, is it fake? I don't want it to it's be not fake. fake. I really don't want it to be fake. It's not fake. <sighs> it's really not fake. But when I first went on, I remember the first like. There should be a class, what to do when you go on the Housewife show or a reality show. Because the same question everybody has is, like, I didn't know if it was fake or not. It was like, oh, okay, you're on the show and meet everybody at this party. So you don't really know them. You're not really friends with them. Well, um, You must have had some, some yeah, like, no, I mean, like, Yeah, I have a, I had connections with them or I, I knew Ramona. I knew Ramona's friends. Right. I'm trying to think if it was anybody else. No, that was it. Okay. So you show up at like someone's so, dinner and you're like, hi. Well, I, I, 
so they do set up something. They're like, like first of all, when I sent them my schedule, they were like, oh, you're so boring. Like, you need to be doing something. I was like, all right, I'm going to this business meeting, that business. They're like, no. Like, I don't even know how I got picked for it. So, because usually the women, they're like, you know, they're out all the time and they just, you know, they have parties. Like and this charity and that. gala. And right. Blah, blah, blah. This gala, that gala. And I was like. So he's like, I'm trying to run a business here. Right. <laughs> yeah, Basically, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, I'm launching a new product. They're like, uh-uh. Like, they literally sent back my agenda. They said, do something. <gasps> so the first thing I did was, um, which I'm glad I did, I um, did a charity event with Peter Tooney, uh-huh. um, who's a painter. Uh-huh. Are you familiar with Peter? And we made um, a painting with everybody stepping on the feet of the, you know, and make the painting that way. And it was said gratitude. And then we auctioned it off to somebody for um, a cancer charity that was close to me. But well, that was not the point. So the second time, so that was all nice. And that's kind of how you first meet. So they set that up. They're right. like, you have to have a party or something to meet everybody. And they don't pay for the party, right? They don't like. Okay. So yeah, this is the crazy thing. So when you start, you're like, you're paying for the party. But once you're on the show, then you know, you could just say, hey, I'm going to put you on Bravo. And it's the number one rated show in a restaurant. Oh. They'll hook it up. So here I was like shelling out the money. So, yeah. But it's not like the producers are making these events. Like you no, still have no. to, like they expect that to be part of your you life. You coordinate That's it. That's exhausting. Wow. So, With, like, so most of these women, that's really what they do, though. But, I had a friend, um, Jules. Mm-hmm. You know, Jules, our kids went to school together. She was on After oh, Me. Oh, yes. After- and the, she had like D- Jagger, the son. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, and she yeah. was a Dylan daughter. and Jagger. Yeah. Right. So yeah. our kids went to school. So it was so funny because when I met her, I think I was on. And then she was on. And I think I was off that year. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, but she, for me, she was like the perfect housewife. She had parties all the time. She had the most extravagant parties ever. And she just loved it. And but she would was get she up doing on the stage. That anyway, that's the thing. Yeah, that's my point. She was yeah. doing it anyway. I mean, that's what I was saying. Like, she's perfect, perfect, perfect for the show. I mean, that was her life. And then, like, you know, we'd go to her party, like her kids' party. It was like, you know, the, beside, I mean, there's Ferris wheels, there are balloons, there's everything. It's for the adults, the kids. And, you know, and then she'll do a show on the stage. I mean, I think she's great. I feel like they should ask Jen and I to somehow be incorporated and, like, Jen and I should throw a party. T- totally in, in, in our own and have a real housewives in my one bedroom. There. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, it's like, I'd love to see the camera crew in there. <laughs> do they want to watch me do like in copy and and build our website? For yeah, two hours. That right. sounds fun. That, that was like my life. I had to pretend I had this life. Yeah, like life. wait. So I have to tell you the oh, one yes. thing is oh, funny. No, more, this no, is more, like more, the health more. thing. Keep it going. So I remember that that was like calm. Got all you know, the, the time opening. in the world for and then the next day. We were going to um, a party at Sonia's townhouse. This is so long ago. Oh, my God. So I was walking in. I'm forgetting people's names from the show now. We were walking in, and all of a sudden, I forget her name. Who's the one with the blonde hair? Um, well, so she many. was married. It was she, she hasn't been on the show in a long time. We'll call her Sue. Okay, so Sue. So Sue comes out, like, screaming. This and is the, actually Sonya's really going to yeah, Which really, one? Which one? I don't remember. Oh, my God. So Sonia goes out and, yell, and is yelling, get the hell out of my house and this and that. And I'm like this. Like, first of all, would you ever go to, like, a house party in New York City, like a dinner party, townhouse, supposed to be really nice, and you have, like, the host, the host going, get the fuck out of my house. So I'm like, no, that's is scary. this real? I'm like, or is it cut? I was yeah. like, is this pretend? I, like, I didn't know what to do with myself. But I was why like, did she tell you to get the F out of her not house? Not me. She told some other girl. Oh. I don't remember at this point. But that was not fake? That was It wasn't real? fake. That's why I was like this. That's what, like everybody else. Who speaks like that? That's my point. Oh, my God. I was like, is this real? Are we cutting? So you only did this for one season, right? I only did it for one one season. For good reason. Good Lord, that sounds horrible. Here's a question. It was hard. It was hard. Was it worth it or no? 100%. I did it for business. Yeah. I mean, the name. Did it help your business? um, Yeah. The product line. When you had completely bare. uh, I launched a product line on the show. I knew exactly what I was doing. I launched the product line on the show. That's how skinny. What's her name stuff for? Um, oh, yeah. Um, Skinny girl Margarita. Yeah, only she's, I mean, she was smarter than me, you know, from where she is now and where I am. Big difference. But whatever. But you're Bethany helping women like, have better sex. You yeah. win. <laughs> I feel like Bethany is an anomaly. I feel like that. Oh, is, Bethany. Yeah. That's her name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like lots of people have businesses yeah, on that yeah, show. It's fine. They, sh- they need to like run a business, those people. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you're, I was on that show for that many years. I'd be a use much, it to your advantage. Yeah, use it. Like you know, they're still trying to figure out what business to do. It's seven years later. I'm like, are you kidding me? Ramona, like could, true renewal, true. Oh, tr- she has latest. a beauty line, right? Yeah, true, she's a beauty true. line. I think a, a wine line, a, yeah. this line, a that line. Like really? Um, yeah, I mean, she's, time. She, it's like get a business together, babe. 
You know, it's 10 (laughs) years. Stick with one thing. Be a little, I mean, you don't even have to be that innovative. It's true. It's true. Like, like, here's my face cream, you know? Right. Like, stick with it. Find something really good. And she has just 13 t shirt. I mean, God knows what. (laughs) Um, Wait, we can't have you come on our damn beauty podcast, not talk beauty just a little bit before we let you go. Okay. Speaking of face (laughs) creams, right? Um, Tell us what's, what's in your, what's in your beauty kit. Like, what are some of your favorite products? Um, so I'm pretty much on the basic. I, this is really something I didn't even drink before this. I can't add like everything's <laughs> like getting out of my head. What's the basic thing you get from the gyne- gynecologist for the exfoliation? That's what I have in a tube. From the dermatologist? The dermatologist. Yeah, yeah. What, what? You said gynecologist. Ret- <laughs> oh, yeah. Gynecologist, dermatologist to me right now. Uh, retin-A. Retin-A. Yeah, retin-A. Okay. Yes. Yes. I, I really believe in just using Retin-A. Okay. For my skin, and it just we'll changes. It. So what about, like, mascara, eyeshadow, any of that? MAC. I love MAC cos- Cosmetics. And you want to know something? I went there the other day. Mm-hmm. I had to go twice because, yes, I'm crazy because I lost the whole bag. You know, a whole oh bag. Oh, God. You know, when you go for a full makeover? They have a yeah. great store on, um, it's Lexington and the 65th, mm-hmm. and they actually put it on for you. But these are, like, the top specialists. Yeah. So I did a whole nude, like, mm. the whole, like, bronze. Like, everything's, like, a nude plain palette. It yeah. was pretty... I, I love it. I really do. And then you left the whole bag of it on the subway? What? Oh, no. I, I have no idea where it is. Oh, <laughs> I lost it. I mean, I have no idea all. where it is. We got to get her some MAC products. Right, I went back to MAC and did the whole thing. paid for it Were again. they like you again? Yeah, I was a little embarrassed myself. Like, who does that? Like, well, you know, you, you do your whole day. your whole makeover. But they, they're great there. Who does your brows? Your brows I are literally beautiful. was just going to oh, ask sorry. the same thing. No, no, yeah. just because they look so good. Yeah, oh, your thanks. brows are beautiful. Joey Healy. He's oh, amazing. I love him. Cut? Remember, he used to have you a know, line. Jo- he does have a line, Joey it's Healy. Still. Yeah. Still in New York? Joey Healy. There was like a brow gel, I remember. Yeah, his stuff is great. I brought him in t- and opened up um, Brow Bar at Completely Bare with him. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. It comes full circle, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's great. Your brows are fantastic. Thank you. And then mascara, what's on your lashes? Okay, but I have to tell you something also with tell brows us. like that I don't get to him all the time. People are going to think I'm crazy, but I believe in if you what you do is you shave Take a little razor and shave around. If you instead of like plucking every single time, mm-hmm. if you shave, your brows get fuller because I don't know what it is. I Actually, use the Tina, little stick razors that you get at the beauty supply, like the little yeah, eyebrow razors, and it sure. really it really works. I think your eyebrows start growing thicker. Wow, I know because I'm like old. You know, like you get old, you lose your eyebrows, you lose everything. <laughs> your vagina gets your vagina saggy. starts saggy. Oh, great! Um, um, tell me your mascara before you leave, please. Because your lashes now it's uh, Mac. probably Mac. <laughs> it's Mac. Thing. Oh yeah, it's two of them. It's Mac. You know, they have the one that you put underneath, mm-hmm. and then you put the one on top. Oh, the primer, oh, primer. primer. Okay. Yeah. What didn't nice. we ask Cindy that we forgot to ask? I don't know. You are just I a delight. I want you guys to come in and it, play. You almost make me want to watch Real Housewives, but then I realized you were it wasn't for you, so now I don't want to watch. Like I want you to go on, and then <laughs> no, I'll watch. It's really good. Yeah. I, you know, I can't watch. I can watch the Beverly Hills. Okay. Oh, this season's really good. That. This one. This okay. season's great. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I just do it like in the middle of the night. Like I understand why people watch because it's like you don't have to think. You don't have to know what yeah. happens. And they're like a whole different life for me. I come home and I basically like I'm like lobotomized and I watch it. Right. Yeah. It's not great. after you get your O shot. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to promise me on air that you're going to come in and try some of the services, and we'll think about it. Oh, come you? on! I, I'm, I'm quite shy, but I might stumble in. I'll just come in for a wax then. I'll come in. I'll come sake. in. I'll come in. We'll come in I'll just come to hang in. out. With you. You. you can sit on the chair. The chair's great. Oh, I'll do the keggle thing. I'll do, do the keggle thing. thing. Keggle thing. Keggle thing. I'll come in. I'll come in. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, on it's my podcast. pleasure. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, I love this. Thank podcast. you. Love you, Cindy. Thank you, guys. We hope you enjoyed the show. It's your reviews and feedback that help us make the podcast even better. Head over to iTunes to rate and review us or email your thoughts to info at fatmascara.com. We also want to answer your beauty questions and hear what products you love. To share a Razor One product review or to ask a beauty question, email us at info at fatmascara. If you send it as a voice memo file, we can even share your voice on the podcast. You can also do that by leaving us a voice message. Our phone number in the United States is 646-481-8182. Thanks so much for listening. It's hard to find the perfect holiday gift, but Osea's Super Glow Body Set might just be it. This limited edition three-piece kit has everything they need to exfoliate, hydrate, and glow all over. 
Featuring Osea's best-selling Andaria Algae Body Oil, Body Polish, and Body Butter, it's sure to please everyone on your list, from your most discerning relative to your most deserving BFF. The best part? It's packed in a box so beautiful, you can skip the gift wrapping. Osea has been creating seaweed-infused skincare for nearly 30 years. Every product is crafted with ingredients that are clean, vegan, cruelty-free, and climate-neutral. So you never have to choose between your best values and your best skin. For a gift that will impress this holiday season, give Osea's Super Glow Body Set. Right now, you can get the Super Glow Body Set valued at $126 for only $79 when you use code GIFT at OseaMalibu.com. That's code GIFT at OseaMalibu.com. The number one selling product of its kind with over 20 years of research and innovation. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A, is a prescription medicine used to temporarily make moderate to severe frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead lines look better in adults. Effects of Botox Cosmetic may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness may be a sign of a life-threatening condition. Patients with these conditions before injection are at highest risk. Don't receive Botox Cosmetic if you have a skin infection. Side effects may include allergic reactions, injection site pain, headache, eyebrow and eyelid drooping, and eyelid swelling. Allergic reactions can include rash, welts, asthma symptoms, and dizziness. Tell your doctor about medical history, muscle or nerve conditions including ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, myasthenia gravis, or Lambert-Eaton syndrome and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. For full safety information, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. See for yourself at BotoxCosmetic.com. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds, owner of Mint Mobile, with a message for everyone paying big wireless way too much. Please, for the love of everything good in this world, stop. With Mint, you can get premium wireless for just $15 a month. Of course, if you enjoy overpaying, no judgments, but that's weird. Okay, one judgment. Anyway, give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. New activation and upfront payment for three-month plan required. Taxes and fees extra. Additional restrictions apply. See mintmobile.com for full terms.